Little free libraries have been popping up all over Vancouver Island and in Greater Victoria, they recently celebrated a major milestone, the 650th. With more on the free little libraries that have everything from books and board games to yarn and seeds, here's Tess Van Stratton. Little free libraries have become a neighborhood must have in North America. Go dog go. And this is the 650th Little Library in Greater Victoria. And the thing I love about them most is they're often less about books and so much more about community and connecting people. Newly elected Saanich Councillor and Victoria Placemaking Network volunteer board member Teal Phelps Bondaroff started the Pocket Places project in 2017. It's so exciting to see how this project has grown. We, when we started the project, we thought, oh, we might get to 150, it'll be a struggle. And to see people get so excited about Little Free Libraries, it fills me with joy and it gives me some hope. PJ Funny Bunny was very sad. They've helped distribute more than 70,000 books, built 150 plus libraries themselves, and mapped out all 650 so they're easy for people to find. I think the fact that so many people have made these little free libraries shows that people want people want nice things for everyone around them. They want to live in communities where people feel connected to each other. They want to live in communities where we share things. Oh look, we got some DVDs. Liz Cronin helped open the 650th little library last month. Here's to many more. Let a thousand libraries bloom. Built by her neighbors from upcycled materials, the Garden View Little Free Library is at the corner of Haltane and Scott Streets. I love that the books are free. I think it just sends, sends such a good message that we believe that if we work together, we can have good things for free for people in the community. And it's no longer just books. There are little libraries for toys, seeds, plants, art supplies, puzzles, board games, and even some yarn barns in the capital region people in the region are so creative and they've taken that creativity and made little libraries for all manner of different things and I think that's just an example of how people love creating community and shaping the world around them. Vital People brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.